Now water damage is not the same thing as flood damage and it's not the same thing as sewer damage. When I talk about water damage, what I'm talking about is something that happens to a lot of people. This is when a pipe bursts or a pipe freezes or something else happens to a pipe and water comes from the interior of your house, gets into your floors, sometimes it gets into your foundation and it starts to rise in your home. It's not a flood because it's not created by rain and this is very common. It's important to realize when you have water damage that not all the damage is visible. If you live in Louisiana, your house is probably raised. Even if it's sitting on a foundation, it might not be sitting on a flat concrete foundation. If your floors are wet, it's a safe bet that everything below your floors is also wet. As a result, you want to look below your floor coverings. So you want to make sure that every single thing below your floor is safe. If you have a lot of different layers of floor covering, like many of us in Louisiana do, all of these might need to be replaced. Additionally, you're going to need to go up at least to the water line, if not higher, and you're probably going to need to replace all your wall coverings as well as the items that you lost that were sitting on the ground. Keep in mind, whenever you have a water event, it's very likely that you're going to start to have mold within only a couple of days. If you have a water event, it's likely that water's been coming up through your foundation for days, if not weeks, before you first notice it. As a result, you should be immediately concerned about mold because more likely than not, that water has been coming up into your house for quite some time. At that point, it's likely that mold already exists. When you call to make your claim, one of the first things the insurance company is likely going to do is they're going to tell you there's a mold limit and they're going to imply that they're not responsible for the pipe. Don't take no for an answer at the outset. The reality is most insurance policies cover at least part if not all of this type of damage. And the reality is it's the burden of the insurance company to prove that they don't need to provide coverage for this type of event. The other thing you should do when you have a water claim is you should make sure you ask for additional living expenses. The reason for this is given the likely existence of mold, there's no way to know until you get testing done whether that mold is harmful. You don't want your family, you don't want your children sitting in this house while mold grows, even if they send someone out right away to go ahead and dry your house. Make sure when you're making your claim, not only do you communicate what's wrong with your house, but make sure you ask for living assistance. Make sure you ask to either go to a hotel or a rental apartment that's of the like kind and quality of your existing house. And then if they want to clean your items, if the insurance company wants to pay to clean your items, make sure they actually can be cleaned. A lot of items cannot be cleaned if they're covered in mold. Porous materials such as wood and other things that aren't hard plastics are very difficult to clean from mold. So when you're making your water claim, it's important to make sure that you explain to the insurance company exactly how the water got in, when you first noticed it, and ask for all the relief you're entitled to.